Race four is the second of the tab into Dominion Trotting Championship qualifiers tonight, and this looks a pretty well cut and dried speed map, doesn't it? Sp Speeding Spurs got the most pace off the front line and the draw to use it. From gate two, he'll just put that neck out like he does, push forward, secure the front, and from there, I think that virtually everything will leave him alone. Who will occupy the breeze? I think it's probably between Monty Python and Maori Law. We saw that Maori Law was probably found out a little bit in the Bill Collins mile at group one level, but back to the middle trip here. I think they'll roll forward, even though it's been a while between races, and try and occupy the breeze here. He's performed exceptionally well in the past from that position winning four of the six times that he has been outside the leader. Monty Python shouldn't be too far off the speed. I expect Anthony Butt to roll forward with that Phil Williamson trained Kiwi conveyance. Enrolled might be the first one to pull three wide here. Certainly from a second row perspective, the key runner is probably Red Hot Tooth and a little bit like Kai Valley Blur. She's going to want to secure the appropriate trail into the race. I don't think she'll be suited to coming three wide without cover. The best suited horse of course outside speeding spur here will be our 2010, who will get the gun run in behind the leader, favourite and likely winner from the pole marking draw. Speeding Spur, almost 100% likely to find the front here in race four at Tabcorp Park on night one of the Inter-Dominion series. Our 2010 in the gun trail, Rompers Monically, likely three poles, and Maori Law, marginally more likely than Monty Python to be outside the leader in transit.